All right, as you can see, I'm a 97 overall, which is actually pretty high compared to a lot of people playing 2K25 right now. And to be honest, I should really be a 99 overall, but I've been recording, editing, and doing other stuff. But in this video, I'm gonna show you the most fastest and efficient way to hit 99 overall or however high you're aiming to get. And if you didn't know, this year with Rebirth, you're able to upgrade your Rebirth build to the highest overall that you previously hit on any build. So for that reason, you want your overall to be as high as possible so that every build you make is gonna be that overall. So when I get this build to a 99, any build I make after this is gonna be a 99 overall. Make sure you watch this video all the way through because you don't want to miss nothing when it comes to this method and if you're new to the channel make sure you like the video and subscribe and also share this video with your teammates so that they can stop selling you with a low overall build all right before we get into anything we want to go to our settings and then make a couple changes i like to go and turn off the replay settings and everything because you're going to be throwing alley oops that's the method every year to get the most xp in the game is to throw oops and when you throw oops in here they get contact oops and they want to have replays after every oop so go here to your settings and turn action replays off put that on never and then go to highlight play camera cuts and put that on off also go to after basket camera cuts and put that on never as well this right here is just going to make the process a little bit faster you're not going to have to see replays after almost every alley-oop dunk so turn those off and it'll make the process go a little bit faster and as you can see i'm at the street ball course that's where this method is going to take place just like last year my career is not the way if you do not want to play my career it takes forever and then like mentally i don't know maybe you're different from me but mentally when i play my career and i'm grinding badges or i'm grinding overall it's just draining and whenever you're doing a street ball course it just goes a lot faster but there's three different street ball courses. there's the sideline right here there's a temple over here and then there is down here's the dunes i like to go either to the sideline right here or i go down here to the dunes because at the sidelines court you can get a dude named velvet who's very good at catching lobs and then over here at the dunes you can get a dude named the dunkinator who's very good at catching lobs and that's what you want to focus on you want to focus on the people who have the highest driving dunks and who can catch alley -oop. so let's go to the chalkboard right here and then i'm gonna go through as you can see i played a few different people but duncan Charles is the person you're gonna want to have on your team and in order to get somebody on your team you have to beat them i don't know if you knew that already but if you want to get anybody on your team whoever it may be you gotta beat them and then you can add them to your team so i beat dunkatron is not super hard very easy i think the difficulty for the street ball courts is on like rookie so you shouldn't have a problem beating anybody so you unlock dunkatron you got him on your team now we want to go play danny dunkman the reason we want to play danny dunkman is because his team is pretty trash like they're super little they don't have very good defense and they're not very good on offense but as you can see as we view opponent danny dunkman is 5'7 225 pounds Bishop is 6'3", and then uh, Cat is 5'10". Very easy team to throw lobs on compared to some other teams because other teams might have two big centers who are just blocking the lobs every time you try to throw a lob, bumping you, great defense, and that's what you want to stay away from. So you want to make sure you pick a team that has very bad defense and is pretty bad at offense as well. All right, so we got Danny Dunkman, and then we're going against, and we want to pick up Duncan Tron, and then we're going to pick up uh, Tom. So Tom has a very good dunk. As you can see over there on the attribute and stats, his dunk is pretty high. Everybody else is pretty low. So John, no dunk. Litigator, no dunk. Hypnotic, no dunk. It's only Dunkatron and Tom who you want to have on your team. If you're at a different court, just go through and see who has the highest dunk. If you don't want to play the dunes, just go through and see who has the highest dunks and then try to play against a team that has the worst defense or the smallest players. All right, so you're going to load up and going to have all these cutscenes. You're able to skip some of them. So this one right here, you can skip and then you can't skip this. So you're going to have to sit here and let him talk for a little bit. Now you can skip it and then he's going to keep talking. Once you get past this, it's pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of cutscenes or anything. Only at the end of the game is where you're going to see a lot of cutscenes. But once we get past this, we'll be straight. All right, so pay attention when I'm doing this method. Right now, I want to keep it kind of close. I don't want to end the game super fast because I want to get up as many lobs as possible. So I'm going to sit in the paint a little bit. If he scores, he scores. I'm not too worried about it. He can have that. I just don't want them to beat me, and I don't want to just blow them out and end the game super fast. So I'm going to come down the court, and I'm going to tap L1 or LB, whichever console you're on, and I'm going to hold down square, which is Danny Dunkman. And I like to have two people to catch lobs in case I can't get one. And then easy as that. So as you see, I missed that right there. And that's going to happen. But you just want to keep spamming lobs. You might miss some. You might throw some out of bounds. You might throw turnovers. They might miss the dunk sometimes. But it don't really matter. It's not that crazy. You don't have to go perfect. It's not going to hurt you. Especially if they miss, it's not going to hurt you. But if you know, if you throw a turnover, of course, your teammate grade is going to go down. You're going to get a little bit less because you have a lower teammate grade. But it's not going to hurt you too bad. So he shoot there. Grab a board. Come down. This is all you want to do. You want to come down. L1 uh, or LB, call for a screen, hit your move. And I like to do my move and, and then run into the screen. I feel like it hits a little bit better. Instead of waiting for him to come to you and then you run off the screen, try to hit your move a little bit while he's running towards you. And then as soon as he runs towards you, you can run your uh, defender into the screen. So it hit a little bit harder. And then Danny Dunk, man, he, he just can't shoot. He's trash. That's what we're leaving him wide open. But you see, we're keeping the score kind of close. We don't want to blow him out too much. And right there, you see, I let him run into the screen, and then when I'm coming off these screens, if you pay attention, when I come back on offense, 
I'm driving into the I'm driving into uh, my Danny Dunkman's uh, defender. So let me show you again. Shoot the ball, bro. I don't I don't, I don't know why he don't shoot the ball. So I'm waiting. I'm gonna shoot the ball. He comes in, lays it up. He can have that. If he makes it, he makes it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. I'm gonna come down, and then watch. So no, I don't want you. I don't want you, John. I don't want you. I want Danny. Danny I want Danny Dunkman. So when I come off the screen, I'm gonna try to attack Danny Dunkman's man so I can make him help. You see? Sometimes he'll fall back, but they get contact oops. So it's not really, you know, too crazy. You don't gotta be that detailed, but if you wanna be more efficient, make sure you're attacking certain angles, make sure they're helping up, and then he's getting switched on to a little bitty uh Danny Dunkman and then contact dunking him all day. I think I said Dunkatron, but that's Dunkatron and then the yellow Danny Dunkman. So we're gonna let them dribble up a little bit. I'm gonna let them score right now because I don't wanna, you know, the the little bar at the bottom, I don't want it to fill up too much. So the game will end because you fill it up too fast, the game will end, everybody storm the court and you have to redo it. But that's not a bad thing either. I just like being able to throw as many lobs as possible and get like 20,000 a game. You can end the games early and get like 13, 15,000 maybe. But then if you can play the game a little bit longer, get 20,000, why not? Instead of waiting for you to load back up, having to skip back through the cutscenes. I'm sure if you had like a little stopwatch and you timed it, you can see what's faster to end the game all the way or to, uh, end it early and then go through the cutscenes again but i like to just you know get up as many lobs as possible and get to like twenty thousand my points a game the bar is getting a little bit higher right now so i'm gonna try to let him score hopefully he goes and score and don't miss please shoot thank you come on cat we need it good shot good shot all right so he made that you see the bar down low it went down a little bit it's the blue bar and the yellow bar that stopped the game but I don't want either one of them to get too high because I don't want to, you know, the game is in and I not expect it. This is also a very good method if you're trying to get your takeover because this year to unlock takeover, you have to achieve certain levels. If you have to get to level four 10 times in a game and it's kind of hard to get takeover in the park. So that's kind of out the window. And then in my career, that's a lot of my career games. You can just come here and then get your takeover, hit that level. After you hit the level, you can shut down the court and then the game is in super fast and you can get your takeovers fast like that. But this method is super simple, y'all. All you want to do, keep the games close. Try to finish out the whole game. Don't get the court shut down. Let them score if it need be. Make sure you a, attacking the basket at certain angles so you can get good lobs, no turnovers. And then just throw it up. And he's going to bang on the head. Like, look at that. Super, It's super easy. It's as easy as that. As you can see, now this yellow bar is starting to creep up. And I don't want that yellow bar to get all the way to the end. So I'm going to let them score a little bit. Hopefully, Danny. Come on. Come on, Danny. Get a bucket. There you go. I let Danny get a bucket to keep that meter down, keep it close. And this is probably like the first time I got takeover. It's so hard to get takeover in this game, especially in the park. Here, I can get it decently fast, but in the in the uh, park games, it's almost impossible. All right, I'm gonna let them score again. I don't wanna, I don't want the game to end before 22. I wanna be able to get 22, so I'm trying to keep it a little close. Honestly, if I throw a oop right here, it might end the game. I don't know if that yellow bar is gonna finish all the way out or if it's that blue bar, but if I get a oop right here, it might end. But I'm only gonna miss like one oop, so I'll still get a bunch of uh, bunch of my points. So right there, I threw the ball out of bounds. It's all right, it's all right. We, all we're gonna do is get back on defense. I'm gonna try to let them score so the game can keep going. Getting turnovers is not always super bad, you know, cause you can keep the game going and then you can get more lobs up, which this game, I'm probably gonna get 20,000 plus just from this game. And these games aren't super long at all. Super fast games. And then you can, I don't know, I feel like it's like a mental thing. When you're, in, when you're playing my career, your mental just be fried. Whenever you be playing 12 minute quarters, Going out, going throughout a whole micro game, just throwing lobs the whole game. I feel like it just your, your brain just be fried. So come here, you know, get quick games, and then even if you want, you can get a quick game, take a break, go do something else, and then come back. You don't gotta sit through a whole micro game. But bang, they go. That's game 22-17. Go through these cutscenes. They're gonna hype, they hype you up, go crazy. They're gonna head top them everything. You wanna wait for these cutscenes to end, and once they end, I'm gonna show you how much my points I got. So as you can see, I got 11 assists. And I got 21,000, 21,900 my points from that game. That's a lot of my points for a short game. You see this video wasn't even that long of me playing that game. This is the best method to get 99 overall as fast as possible. As you can see that I said earlier, I'm 97 overall and I really should be higher than 97, but I've been doing other things. I hope this video helped you out. If you haven't hit that like button and click on this video right here because this is the best build in the game.